we're at a location called Nyaupa Huaca. You can try to look it up on the internet, but you may not find it. It's in the area of Cusco and the Sacred Valley of Peru. Now the Nyaupa were an ancient people, or maybe people, who lived in this area about two hours outside of Cusco, Peru, in the very distant past. And how distant? There is an oral tradition relating to them. Now the Nyaupa lived in a time when there was only twilight. And then all of a sudden, the sun became super intense. And they were forced to leave the surface of the earth and go underground. Well, historically, there was a cataclysmic event that uh, damaged the entire planet 11,700 years ago. That caused the rising of the sea levels by 300 feet, and that could have been the time when the Nyaupa perished and or descended into the earth in order to stay alive. And what we're at is a sanctuary that they most likely constructed, and you will be in awe when you see what it looks like. <clears throat> Ancient word Quechua, which means older, older people, people who has been inhabit this planet before this four human race. We have Otomis, we have Lemures, we have Atlantis, we have all of these kind of previous people. For us, the Ñaupas and the Machos has been the, those who has been inhabited here. And before of that, even, they say that they used to inhabit this planet when there was not the sun here. That it was like a twilight. Something like that, just the, in the morning, something like this. And when the cataclysm happened, most of these people has been, has been extinguished. Mm -hmm. But some other, they refused on under the ground in caves and so on and they have been also reduced because they were gigants mm -hmm. and they have been reduced their size to live there and nowadays early in the morning and late in the afternoon they come out of these kind of caves and sit there to take this light that was as it was before because if this come into the full, full light they're going to be burned they're going to be killed mm -hmm. but they eat energies. So it is dangerous in our tradition to go to this cave when it's very early in the morning or late in the afternoon because these energies can touch you and, mm -hmm. yes, and make you sick. Mm -hmm. Now, what it means to me is that like in the North American natives where they used to do the vision quest and so on, there has been a special kind of hills where they were a lot of conifers, perhaps. And now we know that the air could be charged by positive particles or negative particles. So it doesn't mean that one is good, one is bad. However, the positive particles, if you are with your muscles warm and you are touched by this current, they can produce into you a paralysis. Ah. Or the negative um, ions in the air can take you in a more easy way to go into altered state mm -hmm. of, uh, of perception. Okay. So, if we came here, which is a special energetic vortex, okay, what will be the purpose to some crazy one to come all the way here, make all this work of the terraces here, when you have all the valley to farm here, Okay, and make all this work. <laughs> you are not going to bring, like some people say, I'm bringing these people here to practice, and they have here to make how to carve the, the stones, so they are going to... No, no, it doesn't make sense. 
has to have something here. And this something, for me, is particular qualities of energy mm -hmm. that you can take here, okay? By the name, Ñaupa is telling us that this is a very ancient place. And what could be our Ñaupa in ourselves? Our ancestors, our deepest knowledge, our essence of our body. Nowadays, we might call this our DNA. Okay? So when you come in these particular places, these are like a special vortex where you can reach that level of your Nyaupa. So it's not necessarily to come here to pray, no. We are familiar with different states of being, which are our emotions. Anger, fear, love, right? One of the best states of being is gratitude. Gratitude. So what we can do here? For whatever reason, everything in our life has been taking a shape for us to be here, we should be grateful. Why? I don't know. Mm -hmm. That's matter either. But just to be grateful, close your eyes, and get ready to receive whatever nature, which is wiser than us, has been brought us to be here. Mm -hmm.